Welcome back to Ask an Expert. I'm Stan Boynick, CTO at Sierra Olympia Technologies, and today we'll be talking about microns. What are microns and how do we use them in what we do? When we measure things in our daily experience, we're used to using units that work for those sizes of things. For example, this is a meter. I just cut this down in the shop a few minutes ago so I could hold it up and show you. If we take this meter and divide it into a thousand parts, we get down to a millimeter. Now, a millimeter is still something that measures things that are familiar to us in our experience. My thumbnail is probably 12 or 14 millimeters wide. Now take that millimeter and divide it into a thousand smaller parts. That's a micron. We don't commonly use microns in everyday life to discuss the kinds of things we work with, but here at Sierra Olympia, it's common talk. We use that every day. We actually use microns for two different important measurements. The first one is to measure the characteristic of the infrared light that we are collecting in our various sensors. We work in fundamentally in two different bands of light and microns measure what we call the wavelength of the light. To oversimplify it a little bit, light propagates as an oscillating wave and its wavelength is what we talk about as the distance between the peaks of those oscillations radio waves that you might receive on your car radio may be meters or many meters between those peaks. They oscillate much more slowly. As we get into infrared energy and the light we work with, the waves are microns in size. What we call mid-wave infrared energy, those waves are between three and five microns in size. And what we call long wave, they are longer than the mid-wave, are eight to 12 microns in size. Now these light waves oscillate much quicker than radio waves or microwave oven energy. Uh, and they are what we call infrared light. Now the other way we use microns at Sierra Olympia Technologies is to measure the pixels in the detector arrays in the sensors that we produce. One of our earliest long wave zoom products was the Vinden 4X, which has a 17 micron sensor on it. Now, as the state of the art of sensor fabrication advanced, we went from 17 down to 15 down to 12, and now in a comparable long wave sensor, we're down to the Tenum, which has 10 micron sensors instead of 17. And you can see here a comparable lens for a 10 micron sensor is smaller than that lens for a 17 micron sensor. I'm Stan Voynick from Sierra Olympia Technologies, and this has been Ask an Expert. If you have questions about infrared technologies or our business, leave a comment below, hit us up on social media, or give us a call.